Bermuda hasn't disappointed. After a leisurely super yacht event last week hosted by Boat International, all sailors, fans, owners, and spectators had a bit of downtime over the weekend to take in the first four races of the ever-anticipated America's Cup. Not a lot of love lost between these two teams, New Zealand still smarting from their crushing defeat in San Francisco, and the ever-powerful Team USA simply looking great through the previous rounds. But then the racing happened, and Team New Zealand crushed the first four races like nobody, including Oracle, ever thought they would. Everyone on the docks knew the Kiwis would be fast with their southern spars built boat, but nobody expected this. So remember when John Kostecki famously called for a lay day in the 34th America's Cup in San Francisco allowed by the rules, which became a catalyst for change and massive improvement for Oracle on their way to winning the event. Well, thanks to the event schedulers, Oracle's had five days to try to find a way to get back on track. All the while, a historic J-Class event happened outside Bermuda Harbor. For the first time in history, seven J-Class yachts went off the starting line together. In a predominantly light air event, Lionheart nipped out the regatta in the last run of the last race to secure the win. The photography of the event, which includes a cloud of black 3DI sails, prominent on six of seven boats, makes a huge statement. 3DI sails, and especially 3DI raw, has the durability, weight, and speed to win at all levels. Super proud to see our products perform so well. And on to the weekend. Can Oracle perform yet another miracle turnaround? This time it's different, with much of the major componentry as one design on these 50-footers. So having a massive speed improvement isn't as likely as it was in San Francisco. Both teams have planned for this for four years, but I'm not so sure Oracle planned for this. Can't wait to see how the weekend turns out.